Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Good to see you here at your St. Snout Church Full of Grace Ministry. Anybody tired of hell? This morning, this day, I like to come to you and say I'm tired of hell. And I know if you've been in this world long enough, you've seen some hell. You've been through five tough times. Uh, sickness in the body. Evil one is around on every side. Somebody say, I'm tired of hell. Now, Chris is going to read to us about three men in the fire. And these three men could tell you they got a taste of hell then in the fire. But I'm here to tell you these three men, even though they was in the fire, a fourth man stepped in. Somebody say, step in my life, Jesus. Now let Chris say and read to us about, about Shadrach and Meshach and the Benigo. Anybody tired of the flames of hell around you? She's going to introduce to you um, some guests we have and then she's going to go into these scriptures. Hang on. Let's get set free. Let's get out of hell. Let's ask Jesus to step in. Okay, we have two ladies joining our Ministry of Music, and along with Willis 99 and David and Angel, and it's Jackie, Je Jeannie, and Lacey and Pink. And we're glad to have them each week with us now. And we're going to go into Daniel chapter 3, verse 21 through 26. Okay, and this is about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, they were bound in their clothes and their hoosen and their hats and their garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent and the fire and the furnace was exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire flew, slew those men that took Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down and bound in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished. He rose up in haste and spake and said unto the counselors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? And they answered and said unto the king, True, O king. And he answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form is like the, uh, is like the Son of God. Amen. Praise God. Isn't it good to know Jesus? Isn't it good to know that a God in your life can step in the fire when you're going through troubled times? Isn't it good to know this man called Jesus that can step in the fire and take you out of hell? Isn't it good to be satisfied with the man called Jesus? Now, I know you're tired of hell. Been through fire, tough time, sickness of the body. Evil ones are all around you. But hang on. Stay in the fire when people put you in there because someone's going to come and get you out. And that fourth man called Jesus, the first and the last man of the universe, is going to step in your troubled time and set you free from hell. Aren't you glad that you got a man named Jesus? Because that name right there will take you out of the fires and flame. Read on. Okay, I'm going to go to 1 Peter now, chapter 1, verse 6 through 9. Okay, we're in greatly rejoice, though now for a season need be that you're in heaviness through manifold temptations, that the trial of your faith, being much more precious than gold that perishes, though it be tried by fire, might be found to the praise and the honor and the glory of the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom ye have not seen, ye love, and whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with uh, unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your soul. Oh, my friend, I know you've been tried by fire. 
in your life down here below. And your fire could be in many different ways. It might be sickness. It might be depression. It might be that you're uh, um, suicidal. It might be that uh, you just cannot get along with people. It might be that you're em empty inside. You've got flames around you. And you need someone to take you out of hell. It'd be good to know Jesus when you're in the flames of hell, troubles all around you, been through fire, tough times, uh, but Shadrach, Meshach, and the Benigo, when the men were thrown in the flames, oh, they know a man that was going to take them out. You know what? I've heard the saying go, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Anybody know Jesus? It's not what you know because the wise has become fools, the good book said. But it's who you know. Anybody know Jesus that can take you out of the fire and the flames and the hell that's in your life? There's hell all around us. Bad situation, depression. I'm going to tell you a real uh, story right now of the way that I know it. I got to hurry. There was a car driving down the highway, and they had a bad accident. It was a family. Okay, they were just going on a pleasure trip. Well, they had a bad car accident, and the man that was driving got hurt and uh, was severely hurt. They had no one around. They seen a little white house. But you know what? They went up to that white house, and they said, ma'am, they knocked on their door. Can I use your telephone? She said, sure, come on in. Um, because she seen that there was an accident. Well, they used the telephone to call a doctor for the hurt man that was driving in the car. They called the doctor. They rung the doctor. The doctor was not there. He was out on calls. Bad situation. I think that's hell in your life. Well, they didn't have no help. But a grand grandmother was in that car. She stepped out of that car. She walked up to that house. She asked the lady, do you have a closet? She said, I have a telephone you can use. She said, no, I want to use your closet. And uh, she said, I want to call my doctor. This lady calls her doctor in the closet. She walked in the closet and she got in her prayer closet and said, mm, Jesus. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. Jesus is my doctor. Writes all my prescriptions. Lord, let him be your doctor. Church, he'll take you out of hell. He'll